In this video, you'll learn how to export the connections from SQL Developer. This is useful if you want to back up your connections for moving to a new computer, for example, or for sharing the connections with your team. Having a shared definition of connections is great for a development team, as it saves them time in getting the right connection details. Let's take a look at how you can export the connections from SQL Developer. I've got a separate video on importing the connections as well. So with SQL Developer open, right click on the Oracle Connections item at the top of the connection list on the panel on the left. If you don't see this panel, go to View and then Connections and it will appear. Once you right click on it, select Export Connections. A new window will appear that will guide you through the process of exporting connections. The first step is to select the connections you want to export. Click on the checkbox next to the first item that says Connections to select all items. Or if you only want some, you can select the individual connections to include. In this example, we'll export all connections, so click the Connections item at the top and then click Next. The next step is to choose a file name. You can do this by clicking on Browse and then defining the location to save your file to. Choose a location and then enter a file name. You don't need to enter an extension, as SQL Developer will add one for you. I'll enter a file name of connections for this example. Once you've done that, click Save. The file name you entered now appears in the file name box, including the path. You can click the drop down arrow in this box to select any recent files, which is helpful if you export your connections again in the future. For now, click Next. This screen will ask you what you want to do with passwords. You can either include the passwords in the exported file or not include them. If you include them, you're asked to provide an encryption key. This is a specific set of characters that someone will need to enter when they import the connection file back into SQL Developer in order for the passwords to work. This means the passwords are not stored in plain text in the exported file. It's up to you and your company policy whether you include passwords. If not, you can exclude passwords, which is the default option. This means you'll need to enter them manually when you import the connections, but you won't see them in your exported file at all. For now, we will leave Remove All Passwords checked and click Next. The final page is a summary screen. It shows you the file name, the connections that are included, and what you decide to do with the passwords. Click Finish and the file is saved. The file is saved in the location you specified and is a JSON file. If you want to see what it looks like, you can open it. It's just a JSON file which contains a list of connections and the data. If you open it, make sure you don't make any changes, as it may invalidate your connections when you import them. So that's how you can export connections from SQL Developer. If you want to know how to import connections, you can watch my other video on this. If you learned something new from this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel. If you want to learn more about database design and development, visit databasestar.com. That's where I share my best database-related content. Which step from this tutorial was the most helpful? Was it the exact location of the menu item for exporting connections? or the difference between saving or removing passwords or something else. Thanks for watching.